My name is Nikki Roberts, and I've taught at Ireland Elementary School in the Greater Jasper School District for 14 years. I've been active in our bargaining unit for eight years, and we've had to forego pay raises to keep our benefits. There are more students in our classrooms today. Our special needs students are not getting the attention they deserve, and even some of our summer school classes have been canceled due to cuts in our pays. I'm terrified of what will happen to my colleagues and me if these bills are passed. These bills prevent the people with the first-hand knowledge about what's going on in our school buildings, our educators, from providing input about our students' learning environment. It's Hoosier common sense that teachers should have a voice in what goes on in the classroom. Uh, but Senate Bill 1 would hand teacher evaluation over to outside agencies and give teachers no input in that process would also give the state superintendent of public instruction the right to revoke a teacher's uh, license at will without due process. Governor Daniels needs to stop overreaching and making power plays to try to silence the voices of anyone who disagrees with his agenda or his philosophy. People like teachers understand sacrifice. We do it every day. We understand there is a huge problem to be solved. But unlike Governor Daniels, we understand that we are not the problem. We are part of the solution. And these good people who are under attack have said all along, we are willing to do our part as we hope everyone is willing to do their part to pull the state out of this ditch. This is the same old politics by the same old type of politician. People who are trying to hurt the people who didn't support them in the last election. This is nothing more than payback and it's nothing more than politics. This time it is a national, very coordinated, very sophisticated, radical plan, not just to hurt the people that didn't support the politicians, but to destroy their organizations, destroy the collective voice of ordinary people who work for very modest paychecks providing vital services to this community. People like teachers and support professionals and school bus drivers and nurses. There have been no unreasonable demands. There is no impasse. And so the governor isn't looking to solve a budget crisis. Otherwise, we'd be finished.